Hello, Gareth here, and this is an exhibition by Mark Truscott, a sculptor, and here you can see some of his um, sculptures and paintings that go along with his work, and also by me, Gareth Naylor. I'm a landscape, watercolour landscape artist. That's a painting of uh, Oita River, and this is a painting from Japanese countryside and another one, that's Kunisaki. There is Oita city centre. I'm very happy with that one. And then this is by the castle, evening time, a very dramatic painting. And then this is Western Oita, a harbour. And here we have a night scene of a road in the rain. So that might be Route 197, I think. And this is the water jet feature. I did a series of these. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, my daughter's often played here. And uh, it creates jets of water, mist and uh, lights at night. It's wonderful. So I did quite a few paintings of that. It's quite surreal. I really uh, enjoyed painting that. And here again by the castle. I like this particular path by the castle. And there's another one. And once again by the castle. And this is a temple near where I live. I think it's called Manju Temple. And this is the fireworks. Every summer they have a big firework display by the river, Oita River. And here is a sculpture by Mark. And he made the stand. He's a really, really creative person. And uh, this is a rickshaw from Yufuin, a popular tourist area here. Sorry about the finger there. <laughs> So I was very happy with that sky. And this is Beppu Bay. And this is Yusu Hada Temple. No, maybe Shrine. Oh, and this is Wasada. This was just after the rain. It was a really magical moment. Very happy with that one. That's Takata a traditional town in Oita Prefecture and it has these beautiful traditional Japanese streets. I love those walls. And uh, this is a road near where I live but it's got a beautiful view of the mountains and um, just beautiful. Again, another, another rickshaw at evening time. I don't, I don't think they actually run that late but just made that up and this is another watery scene a rainy day rainy night of route 197 and finally just a, a painting of Beppu Bay so from my imagination I think that one sorry about the reflections and let's have a look at some of Mark's work, but I'm, I'm not qualified at all to, uh, to talk about his work. But uh, the uh, there's a lot that goes into the work, a lot of uh, ideas, and um, Mark's very in, very much into dance. Dance is his forte, and uh, these paintings, um, he does them, I think possibly first and then from that develops these sculptures so he has a studio in Yamaga and that's where he makes these uh, fantastic sculptures that's bamboo that base I really like that particular sculpture and one over there is wearing a kimono that I, I like that a lot that's so cute I love it it's great He's a very serious artist though, very dedicated, uh, great inspiration to me. And uh, he's constantly drawing and then developing that into sculptures.
and uh, I wish I could tell you more but uh, I think you get a good idea as you look but behind each of them there's a a story and uh, most of them are about dance and uh, movement I think I'm going a bit quickly now (laughs) he's got one on Bob Dylan there it's called Raggedy Man and the whole sculpture's ragged I couldn't uh, I didn't film that one apologies for that but it is there somewhere it's a great sculpture and that one in the middle there uh, Mark explained it to me and uh, it's really really good explanation and really interesting anyway that's the end I hope you enjoyed it I'm afraid the exhibition only lasts until uh, February the 11th so um, if you get the chance please come and I hope you enjoyed this bye for now